Hello students and welcome to the online session. Myself, Dr. S. R. Patil, I am working as assistant professor in chemistry at the SVKT Arts, Science and Commerce College, Deodali Camp. Dear student, once again today's session is for the TYBSC chemistry. We know that uh, we have already started our subject chemistry of soil and agrochemicals. In this subject, we had already discussed our first chapter, soil chemistry, in our previous few sessions. Now today, we start with the second chapter from the course, Chemistry of Soil and Agrochemistry, and the name of chapter is the problematic soil and the testing. Dear student, in today's session, first we discuss about the introduction of problematic soil. In that, what is meaning by the problematic soil? We have discussed. Then we have discussed acid soil. In that first point, we have discussed the formation of acid soil. Then second, the effect of soil acidity on the soil. And the third point from the acid soil is the reclamation of acid soil. After that, in today's session, we have discussed about the alkali soil. In that, there is also formation of alkali soil and the reclamation of acid soils. These, out of these two points in the today's session, we only cover one point that is the formation of alkali soil. So, in the today's session, let us we discuss all these points one by one in very briefly. We know that after this session, student uh, should know about the role of agricultural chemistry and the types of uh, problematic soils and the acidic soil, alkali soil and how they are formed. Along with that, the importance and scope of the agricultural chemistry and the different soil components, uh, how uh, the pH of soil is changed, all these uh, learning objective of today's session. Now, let us start with the introduction part. In the introductory part, first we discuss about the problematic soil. What is the exact meaning of problematic soil? We know that the humid uh, region soils are acidic in nature because the formation of weak uh, likes the uh, weak acids like the carbonic acid, lactic acid, uh, acidic acid, etc. in the humid region. Okay. And these acids replace the basic cations like the calcium, magnesium, potassium through the cation exchange sites with the uh, H plus ions and the aluminium ions. Okay. And the replaced cations uh, leached into the deep soil by the water. And the extent of the salt present in a soil change its nature. We know that the excessive concentration of that soluble salt or the exchangeable sodium or both it makes a soil saline or alkaline. Along with that, the excess of salt in the soil is toxic to the plant. And we know that some of the problematic soils are the acidic saline, alkaline, calcareous salines, alkalis and non-saline alkalis. This is the exact problematic soil, meaning of the problematic soil. Next important part is the acid soil. In that first, we discuss the formation of acid soil, how it is formed, the acid soil. First, um, methods of the formation of acid soil is the natural methods in that the acid soils are formed under the natural conditions as well as the uh, artificial conditions also by the continuous use of a, a certain fertilizer. That means there is a both the methods are responsible to form the acid soils, natural as well as the artificial. We know that in the artificial process, we add the different uh, types of fertilizers and that fertilizers is responsible to increase the pH of the um, soil or it may, it in becomes a, pH becomes a acidic. We know that uh, soils that develop in a humid regions are mostly acidic. And under these conditions, the alkali and alkaline earth bases that are liberated during the weatherings are leached out and leaving the soil 
deficient in the bases. When uh, all these soluble bases are lost, then the H plus ions of the carbonic acid and the organic acids are replaced the basic cations of the colloidal complexes. I know that as the soil gets gradually uh, depleted of its the exchangeable bases through the uh, constant leaching, it gets the desaturated. We know that the phenomenon of desaturations, okay, and it becomes uh, increasing the acidity. For example, in the brown soil or poro soils, uh, these are the example of such a type of increasing acidity of the soil. Second uh, step or the second uh, formation method uh, can be uh, produced through the accumulation of organic residues. In that, the decomposition of organic matter is in the absence of oxygen gives rise to a product and that product is called as a PETS which is acidic in nature or which gives acidic reactions and it is due to the formation or accumulation of the humic acids. This is the second method how the acidic soil is formed. Then there is a third method for the formation of acidic soil is the continuous use of uh, physiological acid fertilizers on the soil. Okay, and that is a um, poor quantity in lime, that fertilizers contain a very poor quantity of uh, lime. When that nitrogenous, when we use the nitrogenous fertilizers like uh, NH4Cl, ammonium chloride and NH4 twice SO4, ammonium sulfates are added to the soil and uh, that uh, fertilizers get uh, nutrified, sorry, nitrified and the nitric acid is liberated. Okay, and which nitric, uh, that uh, product nitric acid which uh, reacts with the calcium and the other bases uh, which is present in the uh, soil to form the uh, nitrates. Okay, and that nitrates are a very soluble one. So, they are either absorbed by the crops or uh, lost in the uh, drainage. So, at the same time, at the same time, the part of the NH4 plus ions are absorbed by the soil colloidal materials by the replacing uh, calcium. So, other metallic materials also nitrified and form the nitric acid along with that different types of metallic materials also form the nitric acid and the anions from the uh, sulfuric and the hydrochloric acid which further depletes the soil solution and the colloidal complexes of their bases. Therefore, does the uh, clay content or clay particle get desirated, sorry, desirated and the H plus ion concentration increases and the soil pH is lowered. This is all about the formation of acid soil. Next uh, important point, what is the effect of that um, soil acidity of the soil? Okay. First uh, important point of that effect is the soil acidity is also increased by the use of materials like the sulfur and molasses. We know that the content of molasses, so it is responsible to increase the soil acidity which liberates the acid during the course of their decomposition process and that increase in acidity which decreases the soil productivity. This is a natural phenomenon when the acidity of uh, soil is increases, the soil productivity is decreases. This is the first effect. Second effect is that the uh, soil that are predominant in a uh, alumino silicate clay are the made of alumina and the silicate layer uh, on the soil. And is the uh, acid soils, okay. Uh, that layer in acid soil and equilibrium is maintained between the H plus ion and the aluminium 2 plus ions. This is the reaction shows the maintenance of the equilibrium between the H plus ion and uh, aluminium 2 plus ions. Okay. And in such a soil, the poor growth of uh, crop takes place because the pH of uh, such a soil is uh, very acidic. Then third important uh, point or in fact is when the uh, slightly acidic soils are quite stable for uh, growing the crops, okay, uh, without treatment. There is no any treatment required to grow the plant when the uh, acidity of soil is uh, slight, okay. But those that are strongly acidic or even moderately acidic soils do not allow the normal growth of plant. So that the acidity has to be neutralized before the crops are 
growing. This is the most important process. That's the reclamation of the uh, acidic soil. Okay, and the uh, la lack of exchangeable bases in these main course of unproductivities, which can be restored by adding the lime and dolomite. This is the uh, reaction of addition of uh, lime. Uh, calcium oxide plus water reduces the calcium OH twice plus and it reacts with the carbon dioxide is forms the calcium HCO uh, three twice. As the concentration of carbon dioxide in the soil is quite high, all these compounds are converted into soluble bicarbonate, okay, calcium bicarbonate H, uh, CaHCO3, two which are the uh, soluble one and when they react with the uh, soil Collides. Um, sorry, yes, yes, soil, soil collides. Hydrogen clay uh, react uh, with the clay and calcium hydroxide, it gives a calcium clay. And hydrogen H2CO3, hydrogen carbonate is soluble one. The carbonate, uh, sorry, the carbonic acid further reacts with the lime and the series of uh, change of respect itself and turns the colloidal clay into the calcium clay, which uh, increases the pH of the soil. As the reaction is a reversible in nature, we know that. Therefore, the addition, uh, additional quantity of the limes are added from more um, time to time to maintain the pH of the soil. The role of um, lime is the most important to maintain the pH of the soil and uh, we have to add it uh, for time to time for the maintenance of the soil pH. Another important effect of the soil acidity on the soil is, uh, is a ref, uh, we can use the gypsum and calcium carbonate also, but the use of gypsum and calcium carbonate is not used for improving the um, acid soil because they are neutral in nature, they are neutral salts, okay, with no alkaline effect is there and their addition makes the soil more acidic. These are the different types of effect. Next important part related to the acidic soil is the reclamation of the acid soil. In that, uh, we know that the quantity of lime required to be added uh, to the soil is also known as its lime requirement, LR, and it is denoted the LR. LR is the lime requirement. And the uh, lime requirement is uh, depends initial on the initial pH uh, base and saturation and the buffer capacity of the soil. Then the lime requirements uh, varies inversely as the pH and the buffer capacity of the soil. The lime requirements also depend on the uh, types of crop to be grown because when the uh, it, uh, different type of crop require different types of uh, um, pH and therefore it uh, lime uh, quantity requirement is depending upon the which type of crop uh, we have to grow. So, uh, for determining the LR, that is the lime requirement, we have to do the, some experiment in that the known weight of the soil is mixed with the varying quantities of uh, standard calcium uh, hydroxides and barium or the barium oxide, we can use any one that solution in a number of flasks and allowed it to settle down. And then uh, we have to measure the pH of each uh, flask solution by uh, the electrometrical methods. And then the titration curves are drawn from the details so obtained and the quantity of lime needed to produce any uh, particular pH is calculated from that um, titration curve. Generally, from that titration curve, we can uh, say that the usually pH 6.5 to 7 is taken to be uh, represents the desired pH for the uh, most uh, growing crops. So the figures uh, so obtained is uh, multiplied by the liming factors give the actual uh, requirements of the uh, lime, that is the uh, LR, lime requirement. How much amount of lime is uh, required for uh, increasing the crop productivity of soil or how, how much uh, quantity of lime is required to reduce the acidic pH of soil is given by such a type of a method. Next important point is uh, effect of lime on the uh, acid soil. When we add the lime in the acidic soil, there is uh, some effect of that lime and that effect, first effect of addition of lime is that lime improves the chemical and the biological property of uh, acid soil. And most important 
part is that that property is uh, improved but with, uh, without affecting uh, its uh, physical condition. So it is the most important. Second effect of addition of lime in the acid soil is that it encourages the decomposition of organic matter which produces excess of organic collides. And the calcium shumus produces during the uh, reaction acts as a uh, uh, consisting agent in the binding the soil particle. This is the second effect or importance of the addition of lime into the acidic soil. Third important effect of addition of lime in the acidic soil, it increases the availability of almost all the plant nutrients. We know that different types of plant nutrients like the nitrogen, uh, phosphorus, potassium, calcium, magnesium, barium, zinc, copper and molybdenum. And uh, along with that it reduces the toxicity which is caused by the soluble ions, aluminum and magnesium. This is the most important uh, function or effect of the lime when we add in acidic soil. In next important effect of that addition of lime is to in, it in encourages the microbial activity of the soil by uh, raising the pH. Another important uh, effect of that lime addition into the acidic soil, it stimulates the activity of both the symbiotic and about the rapid decomposition of both the uh, natives and the added organic matter. Okay. And due to the increasing activity of such a type of organic matter, it increased the microbial activity. Okay. And that due to the increasing microbial activity, which increases the availability of the nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus and sulfur. The most important uh, effect of the addition of lime into the acidic soil. There are uh, like there are uh, different types of uh, important effect or different type of um, valuable effect of addition of lime. Like that there are some drawbacks also, there are side effects of uh, over liming is also there and in that when we use the over liming of soil uh, is uh, toxic for the crops, especially in the case of uh, sandy soil or, or and in the organic matter um, deficient soil. Remember that in the sandy soil and the organic matter deficient soil, excess uh, use of lime is uh, toxic for the crops and due to excess use of the liming or excess use of uh, lime using the, such a type of soil, it reduces the availability of major and minor essential plant nutrients like the iron, mangrove, barium, cal copper, zinc, phosphorus and potassium. Okay, so over addition, over um, use of the lime is also not uh, good for the um, soil health, oh, sorry plant health. So it also uh, excessive uses also interfere with the absorption of certain types of element like the potassium, phosphorus, barium, etc. And by the plants that's the um, hindering their uh, utilization. It also affected the very rapid decomposition of organic matter in the soil of arid and semi-arid region. This is the drawbacks of uh, um, overuse of the lime in the acidic soil. And the organic matter in the soil of arid and semi-arid region is uh, decomposed very rapidly due to the use of excess of the uh, lime use. Therefore, in order to make the acid soil fertile, a moderate quantity of lime should be added from time to time rather than to make a heavy application at a one time. Okay, we can add a lime in this acidic soil time to time, not a one once. So, uh, due to uh, that uh, practice, the fertility of soil is maintained or it uh, increases. This is about the acid soil. In the acid soil, here we discuss how they are formed, formation of acid soil. In that, uh, we discuss uh, three different uh, process or three different steps of formation of acid soil. First one is the natural, second uh, one is the artificial by addition of different types of uh, fertilizers. Then uh, next uh, we uh, discuss about the effect of that uh, soil acidity on the soil. And then uh, we uh, discuss about the uh, effect of uh, lime on addition of effect of lime on the acid soils. Also we discuss some uh, drawbacks of over uh, liming of uh, acidic soil. Next uh, types uh, we discuss is the alkali soil. We know that uh, how the formation of alkali soil. In the first uh, uh, steps of the formation of alkali soil or the first process of uh, uh, such a type of alkali soil, 
we know that what is the alkali soil, that uh, type of soil having the pH greater than 7. In that, the calcareous soil have uh, alkaline reactions mainly due to the presence of calcium carbonate and magnesium carbonate, while the alkaline soils are one uh, whose alkalinity varies with the uh, proportions of the sodium salts in the soil solution or the presence of the sodium clay or both the, both having sodium salt and um, sodium clay proportion of both. So they are formed in the low rainfall and a high evaporation region. Alkaline soil is formed in the low rainfall region and the high evaporation regions. Okay, and due to the low rainfall, uh, they can uh, downwards and upward movement of a uh, rain water and due to that it helps in the accumulation of salt in the surface layer soils of arid and semi-arid regions. Okay, this is the uh, first uh, reason of the natural reason of formation of alkaline soil. Second one is that such a type of soils are available in the semi-humid and the temperature regions. Especially we can say that where the uh, drainages is a uh, defective or in such a case where the underground water table is very high or uh, close to the surface okay in such a region the um, pH of soil is uh, alkaline. So under humid condition also the soluble salt formed by the weathering of the rocks and the minerals are carried down and uh, that removed with the drainage water into the stream and finally it uh, goes to the oceans. Okay. In case of a defective drainage, they accumulate at the lower layer and due to that it makes the soil alkaline. When the high water level also makes the soil alkaline. In that the alkaline soils are uh, also found on the sea coastal regions where the tidal water floods and the land periodically and the deposits their salt. This is the second uh, method. Third one is that the artificial alkaline soil uh, is uh, produces. These are the natural methods. Third one is the artificial one and that alkaline soil produced by the artificially when the canal water is used for the irrigation purpose. Okay, and due to the use of canal water for the irrigation purpose, it's to movement of salt between the layers. Okay, and the seepage irrigation water gets the water locked in the low lowing tracks or the valleys and the produces the alkaline soil. That means the pH of soil, such a soil is a very alkaline. Next one is the, uh, another one uh, case, another one method of formation of the alkaline soil is that alkaline soil results from the irrigation water itself having an excess of a uh, soluble salts as in the case of the soil water wells or uh, due to the uh, canal water passing through the saline region. This is another uh, region, sorry, another reason to form the alkaline soil. Dear student, uh, now finally we take the summary of uh, today's session. In the today's session, here we have discussed first the introduction about the uh, problematic soil. What is mean by the problematic soil? Next uh, point we have discussed in today's session is the acid soil. In the acid soil, first we discuss how the uh, acid soil is formed. That is the formation of acid soil. Acid soil is formed by the both the natural and uh, artificial process. Second point in the acid soil we had you know, we have discussed is the effect of soil acidity of the on the soil. Then third point in the acid soil we had discussed the reclamation of acid soil. How we can reduce the pH of uh, how can adjust the pH of uh, acidic soil in the range of uh, 6.5 to 7 by using the lime. And also in that we had, uh, sorry, we have discussed about the effect of addition of lime. Okay, this is about the acid soil. Next, uh, here we have discussed about the alkali soil. In the alkali soil, we discuss how they form, formation of alkali soil by the natural and artificial process. So all these point um, here we discuss in the today's session. Now, on the basis of this uh, today's session, uh, you have to solve some session assignment. In that, we have to write down the answer of first question and the question is that what is the problematic soil? Dear student, the answer of uh, this question is in our 
uh, first uh, point of our session that is the introduction of the problematic soil. The second question you have to solve is that what is acidic soil? Okay, you have to write down exact meaning of that acidic soil and then you have to explain its the formation, how it's formed. Okay, and then further it's a reclamation along with the effect on the plant growth. This is a very interesting question. Um, what is acidic soil? Then explain its formation and the reclamation along with the effect on a plant growth. So, dear students, solve this uh, question and then send me on our Google Classroom for uh, this subject. Okay, so this is the uh, session assignment for uh, today's session. Now, in the next session, we continue this uh, topic with the reclamation of the uh, alkaline soil and the classification of alkali soil. So, in the next session, uh, we will discuss these uh, two important points related to uh, alkali soil, the reclamation of alkali soil and the classification of alkali soil we uh, will cover in our next session. So, uh, this is um, for today's session. Thank you very much.